Now, I just wanted to bring something. First of all, first of all, pay attention. Public class, we have a public class. And the class name starts with this upper case. Can you see it? Yes.
that on interview it just you interviewer and whiteboard or piece of paper. No IntelliJ, no such hints. And first, the most of the questions that are the most people who are going to interview with you would be developers. Do developers know about the automation? Uh uh. What they do know about? Coding. Coding. So, can you imagine the question that you are going to be asked? Code. Code, my dear. And basically, it's called core programming. I don't know if some of you do have programming or not, or maybe in a way or learning, but it means core stuff of any programming language. Doesn't matter which one. And that's what is going to be on interview. So to do this is fine, but try to learn all the syntaxes on this sure, paper. Use that. Make sense? So mostly ask uh, interview question on uh, automation regarding the core is working with the strings, working with the integers, arrays, and uh, maps of dictionary. Make sense? So if some of you are thinking, start preparing right now, because you have to learn a lot of stuff. In other words, algorithm. Make sense? Okay. So once I just put this, so a system is a Java, can you see that? String, java.lang, system, java.lang. What does a java.lang mean? It's the name of the library where it just supported. In IntelliJ IDEA, mostly will just automatically import all the necessary supported libraries. And those libraries we got through the GDK. That would is the main library. Make sense now? And the command with you is system dot out dot print line. So when we just uh, write this up, you can see it. This is one object. That object has bit method. And another method. Make sense? So any object would have a certain method. Do you remember from the, again, JavaScript and uh, object-oriented programming. So any object we are able to describe with properties and methods. Make sense, right? So those are methods. So once the object is exist, then when you put the dot, you will see the all methods that you are able to apply to it. So let's just do this. So yes, uh, put the S uppercase, then navigate to the system. You can ignore it and type it. And then put the dot, can you see it just immediately showing that this uh, wavy red, red line? Put the dot and all the method that are applicable to the object system. Make sense? Object system, all the method, you can just select for whatever purpose you have it. Make sense? And basically we need uh, out. So just select out that. And then the all other that would be just for system out. You can just print boolean, you can print the characters and integers, but we print lines. Make sense? And then, as a any print method, in a quotation marks, we can just put the hard-coded message, or we can refer to any variable name if we have it. 
and any learning of programming usually starts with hello world. So if you are able to print something out, that means you are good to go, to good to continue. Now, in Java, because it's a strong type, always make sure that you add that statement, because that what is a statement, with a semicolon. If on a JavaScript you can just omit it, it's a if you work or not, that if you are not Closing the statement that you will have a compilation error. Actually, it would not even compile. It will immediately show you that token missing. That would be the token. Okay? Make sense? And basically, what we did, we had our first line of code. Now, go back to the Java feature and run it. Just remember, we can run this through the feature. And what do you have? That would be the console. If you have process finished with the exit code, zero means everything went through. How did you run this again? Java feature, run, like, like any scenario, you need to run the scenario through the Java feature. And do you have your hello work? And that would be your hello work. Congratulations, huh? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Did yours work? Yeah. Mine, mine said error 824. Oh, you have to run through Java feature. Uh -huh. Go to Java feature. And run. Run this, right? Yes. Run yeah, that's what I did, and then watch. You see? Oh yeah. Can you show the? So is it the code? Uh, yeah, this one, the one that we just did right here, right? System mode. Do the right. Yeah, do that right. Hello. Okay, everything is good. World, I have to do capital. Oh, maybe that. W. And then the chat will show you to see your. Again, we got it. Can you just tell it? You got it. Yes. Yes. Everybody cool? Yes. That's no, okay. I'll see. I'll see it. What? Are you sure? So yeah, we yeah. just learned the very no important command that is called system out print line that will allow you to print out. A code is just a print but mostly used print lines, where we through the automation mostly use print lines, okay? And then, like I said, if you have a, a exit code zero, it means that it's passed. And then you should see in a console your hard-coded message that you just printed. Make sense? Yeah. So while we are, so moving on. Just check that here, do you have the, uh, this code? This While we code. are in a Java DAS feature, and let's create right. another oh, okay. scenario. Semicolon. We can add it yeah. to it, but we can just create a new scenario. Which one do you prefer? Mm -hmm. New scenario. Okay. So we will say add Java to. And we create scenario. And it would be. Um, Java with argument. Java step. Okay. Java step with argument. And again, given we have to have a step, right? That I just print, uh, I print Java argument. I print.
then create step definition. Now, pay attention. <coughs> Choose step definition file. Again, we have an option to create an absolutely new. We have an option to add the step to predefined step definition. And we have an option to add this to Java step definition. Which way? Java. Yeah, because we already have this, right? Mm -hmm. And that is a part of this. So we are going to select Java step definition and it will add it to our Java step definition file. To Java file. Because uh, Java step definition would have extension .java. It's a Java file. And here's our new step, right? Yeah, you can do it. Throw, throw, will you can undo, uh, leave it, but inside. It's okay. Yeah. Also, we don't need to throw you. No, throw, throw will, you can keep it if it just comes with, but whatever I just deleted, red code here and throw new, that you can just delete it. Not in this case. What do you think? I don't have both. So, Java feature, uh, that one is a very common. So, Put your, um, <coughs> uh, try to navigate your cursor to the uh, given, maybe it would not do it for me right now because I already have. Mm -hmm. Or try to press out enter. If you have a, uh, okay, go. Out enter. And then you have this option. You have to click on this and use this validation. So it starts on the given. Now, once we just provide the scenarios that we are printing something out with an argument, also look at the scenario. We put the streams that we wanted to print it out. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. And now, if you just look at the method name. We have a method name and then we have argument inside. Can you see it? Yes. So by default, parameter argument zero, argument one, depend how many things you need to uh, print it out will uh, appear. You can just keep it as an argument zero or if you wanted to rename it, like a variable or text or whatever you want to just a kind of new variable name. Okay? Then you can just uh, put something like um, text in for instance. Or var or whatever name. And then basically we are going to repeat the system out print line. But instead of having hard coded message, we are going to refer to the variable name, TXT. So basically, we are saying system out print line, and here we put TXT, whatever you have here. You can see it's immediately kind of highlighted. Can you see it? Same. And because we already execute this scenario, so in a toolbar loop, we have a scenario Java step. That will allow us to run it again without going back to the feature uh, files. Can you see it? Mm -hmm. So basically just put this and it will execute all of them. And we have a hello world. No, I should just do this. Uh, sorry, I don't want to teach it. Oh, it's new scenario, yes, feature. Sorry, guys. New scenario. And then that one will just have our Java. Can you see it? That parameters that we provided here. Can you see it? Yes. 
So because it's different scenario, then if we will continue the same scenario, then we can really run from the uh, path. So what we did, we just executed this one. Can you see? Basically, objects that represent the sequences of characters, value, and because it's an object, then the value should be just always taken in double quotes. And then we can just basically refer to it. We can just refer or just, we just did this exercise. Now what we're going to practice, we are going to practice with some uh, manipulation with the string, like a concatenation. And also, we are going to practice with uh, method. So method is a function which is used to expose the behavior of the object. In other words, method is an action that that particular object would perform. And usually, and uh, not usually, mostly, the method we are able to call when we just put the dot after the object name. Here, we just create the third string, right? String is an object. Mm -hmm. String is always object. And we just create this variable, first name, and then we can manipulate with it because it's become an object as well, right? Why? Because of data type string. Make sense, guys? Mm -hmm. And we are able to call the method when we just put the dot after the object name. And then any method or any action, whatever we wanted to perform with this particular object. So we can just get the length of this. Very similar, like I said, in analogy, very similar. We can convert to the upper case, we can convert to the lower case, we can just uh, provide if it's equal to something or it's not equal to something, equals to your <coughs> case, whatever manipulation. So once we have an object stream and we put the dot after that, then IntelliJ actually gives as well, we just provide the list of all methods that could be applied to that particular object. Make sense? And we call it when we just put the dot. <coughs> now, in a JavaScript, again, kind of analogy, we have to call the function through the HTML, right? We have to assign the function to some event because JavaScript is reacting on event. In Java, once we put the dot, that we are able to call the method and apply to that particular object. Make sense? And that of exercise we are going to do. So we're just going to play a little bit with uh, with uh, string. So let me just use the Java three, right? And our scenario is going to be um, Java steps with multiple arguments, right? So Java steps, steps with two. And then we're going with the given. And we just do something. Let's say I perform 
options we Create step definition, add to Java step definition. And basically, we're going to print everything in a console, so we're going to use a system that out that print line, right? Basically, we have an argument zero and we have an argument one. Like I said, we can change it or we can keep it. What do you prefer? Change, change to what? No. You can use txt, you can use var, you can use str, string one, string uh, string one, string one. String one. Okay? You can just use var, like variable one, variable two. But you cannot just, because it's basically your uh, why it's not because that was the value we already provide that what is the value look and the argument zero it's an apple and argument one it would be orange make sense mm -hmm. so that's why you should not do this but basically so we should not say argument you can keep it. apple no you can keep it okay you can keep it not change anything. Can it's totally up to you. No, but we should not name it apple and orange. If you put anything in a quotation marks in scenario, it automatically become value. If you put string right over here as an instance name, that you will have exception because string is a keyword in Java. So you can just use str or txt or whatever but not string uppercase or you can just keep it as is we can just keep it as is if you wanted to see how it works okay, okay. and basically what we are um, saying here would be as the following um, we have argument one uh, argument zero you can see it. once i start to type it just immediately okay. Right? Then I will say, no, I don't want to say this. I'm so sorry. Then I will say plus. Usually I do it like this. Then I will say the 
then plus and plus argument one. So what we are doing right now? We just concatenate them. Can you see? So if I will just go right over here and execute this particular step, I have an apple and I have orange. Once I execute this, my toolbar will show that scenario that was last time executed. Also, can you see this drop down? So if you need to execute the previous, that basically is a list of scenarios. But 